Welcome to the Glazier Studio Tutorials. This tutorial will show you how to export elevations and details to AutoCAD. Once a project has been created, you can select that project. And then on the left under Reports, you can select the CAD export. From the CAD export screen, select an elevation. You can then add perimeter conditions to the top, left, right, and bottom. You can even apply these to just that elevation or all elevations in the project. Set your parameters for exporting to CAD, including the scale, the plotter or page size that you can print, and the detail scale. You can also select formatting, such as drawing a bounding box around the elevations, setting up what we call the studio format for a title block. You can change the different measurement settings, you can also change the file type and then click Generate Drawings to create the shop drawings. Once they've been created, your CAD program will open. Once open, if you zoom extents from the view menu, you will see the elevation show up in the graphics editor. With AutoCAD, we can only run one script at a time. So if we zoom down to the bottom left-hand corner, we'll see the detail layer, but no details have been imported. You have to run an additional script in order to import those details. If your main menu bar isn't showing up, select the arrow next to the printer icon and select Show Menu Bar. Then select Tools, Run Script, and make sure that you're in the Glazier Studio folder and find the dwg.scr file. Run that file to import the details. Now if we zoom down to the lower left hand corner, we will now see the details that have been merged. All elevations have been merged in to their individual layers. When a plotting area is full based on the scale, it will create an additional layer to continue with those elevations. So in order to view different elevations, you must set a specific layer as current and hide or freeze the unused layers to just focus on that page. If we zoom in on an elevation, you will see bubble drawings for the different members of the frame. The bubble drawing will have a number at the top and the bottom. The number at the top refers to the actual detail itself, and the number at the bottom is the layer that, that detail is uh, currently resides on. If we go back to the layers, select layer 2, set it as current, and hide the unwanted layers, we can then zoom in and just focus on the detail layer. The detail layer is much smaller than a standard elevation layer because we are limited to the maximum of a one scale, which means a one and three quarter inch die is much smaller than a 20 foot frame. And so it has to be brought into a separate layer with a separate template or a separate title box. Once you've imported the details, make sure that you save your project. You can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out, 
You can also use this view menu to adjust your view settings. In AutoCAD, what you see on the screen is what is going to print to the printer. So if you zoom in or zoom out or adjust your view so that the entire page is displayed, that will go out to the printer. Thank you for watching the Glazier Studio tutorials. For more information on our program, you can see some of our other tutorials on this website. Or contact the DeMichael Group at 480-985-4926 for assistance.